Hi, I'm Paul from CP Attic Complete Performance, YouTube famous and all that mess. So, hey, what's up? Hi, my name's Paul from Complete Performance slash CP Addict, and this is my brother Chris. Chris Rutledge. It's a passion, you know. Yeah. It's the thing that we decided we liked the most. I don't know, everybody's got their thing, our thing, it's just those trucks. We hate money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OBS Ford trucks and John Deere tractors. <laughs> and Peterbilt's. You gotta throw them in there. Let's see, I've got... I mean, last last uh, count like a month ago was 16 of them, but we've added two since then. So. Three? We've added three? No, no, no. We've added two that. I added three oh, this yeah, weekend. I was going to say, <laughs> at least three. <laughs> I mean, I picked up three this weekend, so... This might sound absurd, but it might take a while to count them all up, and I don't think we've ever had the entire collection in all in one spot at the same time. Nope. It's probably 20, if I had to guess. 20, 25, something like that. Yeah. Ranging from everything from a couple of single cab short beds to a couple of four wheel drive F Super Duties. And everything is power stroke. Uh -huh. Absolutely everything. Yep. Uh, all, all OBS trucks, no bull noses or brick noses or anything like that. I sold my bull nose to Ross. Yeah. That was the last one that we had, so, mm -hmm. or the only one we had, so. Right. Didn't want to sell it, but they did sell it. I think they pretty much range from everything from about 17,000 miles to about 400,000 miles, huh? Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> it's already he's only stuff. he's only been here like a month and a half. He's got two. <laughs> he went near a week and he went and got one. <laughs> he bought it on a Saturday. Hey, I got a truck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Mm. I'm telling you, it's a disease. One's it got happens. Cummins in it, so there you go. Oh, it, that's really a disease. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, that, Some people just can't help themselves. That's thinking right there. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. mm. Future plans. What, what we're what we're focused on right now is trying to be the place for OBS trucks. Uh, oh, basically, I guess I, I say OBS trucks, but anything 1980 to 1997, uh, bull nose, brick nose, stuff like that. We're going. Well, Mostly our focus is to offer quality products to people that have, for lack of a better term, have been overlooked by the aftermarket industry because everybody 100%. wants to go after the newest, latest, and greatest, and they kind of forget the 80 to 97 trucks. That's the trucks that, that started this whole industry mm -hmm. is these trucks. They were workhorses for people, but they were a lot of people's first truck in high school or their grandpa had one and it was the latest and greatest and it had the most badass power stroke motor in it ever or, or diesel motor in it or they ever. rode in one growing up because their dad drove it and it was like their favorite truck ever so you know it's come full circle and they're coming back around to i had one in high school and i want it back or i got married and i had kids and i had to sell my truck and now i want my truck back and i found my old truck or i found one like it but i want to make it better than my old truck versus Man, I don't know how many phone calls we've gotten uh, since we really started kicking this off that people are restoring their, their original truck. It's I crazy how many people kept them. Well, we've still got ours, but yeah. man. I mean, I've kept mine since 2001. I still still have it. It had 73,000 miles on it the day I bought it. Crazy. Extended cab, long it's, bed. It's still feet. only got like 100,000 miles on it because he ain't drove it since like 2013 going to add a tab to the website so if you guys can think of shows that we need to go to that are OBS specific or shows you would like to see us sponsor or things like that uh, you'll be able to, to send in your request for that but we, we definitely want to hit some big shows I know Carlisle will be one Lone Star Throwdown will be a big one we're going to do uh, the uh, the no uh, no BS OBS show in, in Oregon yeah, at Sky Off Road we haven't decided whether we're going to fly or we're going to drive up there and bring a we'll truck with there, us but, but, but we'll be there so I mean, there's 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 a couple of shows. We've got that that big one that's in Townsend. We talked about going to yet uh, next year. Um, hurricane kind of screwed us up on going yeah. this year, but the the plan is to hit mostly major OBS shows and and maybe Daytona truck meet a few things like that and try and get out and meet some more, you know, of our customer base and you know get some more insight on 
what's some products people want to see and what stuff that what stuff that's getting overlooked that maybe we can uh, maybe we can dig into and help out with. Well, going to shows too. We'll, uh, uh, we like to we like to meet people. We like to meet our customers. You know, to us, it's you're not just a, a number or a name on a uh, uh, an order form. You know, we like to know our customers. We like to know the it's, people that, that we're doing business with. It's more fun that way. I mean, everybody everybody that's kind of that has these trucks, most of them are not beating the snot out of them. These are a, a passion for them. So they're unless you're Dylan Sink. <laughs> hey, he makes love to that truck, but. <laughs> Or or Garrett, Garrett over there rubbing on his truck. Watch out for tetanus stuff. Um, no, it's it's more of a passion for everybody in this market than it is. Um, it, it's not just it's not just a tool or it's not just something to get you from point A to point B. Yes, some people treat their trucks that way, and some of these trucks don't are too far gone to to get back from there. But most of them, and most of the people that have them have pride in this these trucks and they don't want to see them thrown away I guess is the best way to describe it they they're not just throwing it away and going for the next latest and greatest thing and then when it goes sour they're going for something else they they love these trucks they you know they want to they want to keep them in, until they're just they're gone basically and they can pass the truck on to somebody else so it's fun to get out and meet people that have the well, same. I, I talked to a guy the other day on the phone, and he said that he was actually building the truck for his son. Yeah. And his son, it's the thing he'd always wanted, and they, I think he was 13 or 14, and they were building it together. And these things are like a modern-day muscle car, you know. Everybody bought them a uh, Camaro for their son, for them to father-son project build. I mean, you know, what's cooler than a, than an old-school four-wheel drive diesel pickup truck? Hey, and even Brock Weld bought, brought back the super singles for these trucks, so that's pretty awesome there, too. So slowly but surely getting the cool shit back. Um, I'm taking donations for up to a million dollars from anybody that's interested. Well, I, I, I'm going to build whatever, so. No. <laughs> no, uh, Chris has got his F Super Duty. Of course, I'm always buying Centurion stuff, so there ain't no telling with us what, what we'll wind up. We've got two single cab short beds that we talked about putting together and, and making them fast. And, I mean... So there's there's no telling, really we'll, and truly. We'll for sure be putting together uh, at least one of the single cab short beds, and my F Super Duty would be the I would say the the very next projects that go together. Um, yeah, the single cab short bed is is an actual three quarter ton truck that we chopped and shortened, and it's you know a factory power stroke truck. And then my F Super Duty with the uh, with the ER model CM flatbed on it, it's a seventeen thousand mile truck, so it should be a pretty cool truck too. And if any of you guys got trucks you want to sell, always looking. <laughs> I'm telling you. Three this weekend. Mm -hmm. This weekend. Be sure and email us uh, things that you're looking for. Um, we may not have it listed on the site yet, but we may can put our hands on it. We spent 10 years in the industry making connections with uh, a lot of the bigger... Uh, the bigger leaders in the diesel performance market and some of the truck aftermarket accessories and and parts department that maybe maybe we don't have it listed or maybe it's not made but you know a simple suggestion could get us to to get rolling and, and get it made um i mean there were we had quite a few suggestions for dually fender lights and we were able to get those made so same way with the cab lights we yeah. uh, we were able to get the cab lights remade from several people suggesting yeah that they wanted the cab lights so, and we don't we don't get things made and make them cheaply. If we're gonna make them, we're gonna do them right. So like the the cab lights, they're contoured like the factory cab lights, where you can actually see the the diagram on the website. But you know we did it right. We don't we don't just kind of halfway do it. But yeah, I mean to to put off of what he said, there's a if you've got a suggestion, it even if it's a minuscule something. If it's something that somebody else might need, and basically we can justify having it made, why not? Let's let's make it. I mean, and and you you are the reason why we're doing this is because everybody like like I was saying earlier, the passion for the trucks and and Joe Blow, whoever down the road may have this super awesome idea, but doesn't have enough need to get it made. Well, we we can we can get it made because we have the we see the need, we see the demand for it through our business. So, 
uh, guys, send in your suggestions. Uh, you know, send us pictures of your trucks too, and we'll use them on our site and in our advertising and things like that. Uh, we we want to keep the the drive for these things going. Um, Man, we we really do like uh, getting the the messages at, on Instagram or on Facebook or wherever where people are sending pictures of their trucks with, you know, that we've been able to help with as far as like if you bought products from us and they're on the truck and. We, we like seeing that. We like being able to use that on our social media and stuff like that because that shows that shows the passion in this industry as far as the, the way people think about their trucks. You know, this is it's a different kind of industry than most, uh, the automotive industry just in general. It's, mm -hmm. it's got almost a passion built around it. And we, we're really ingrained in that. We really like that a lot. So. Well, I mean, shoot, we've, we've made tons of friends <laughs> over the years, uh, you know, like like Garrett. I mean, I'd, I never met him until, what, five years ago? Yeah. And then, I mean, Tim Luby and Mark Nicastro, and of course, Seth now works with us. Uh, known him from the OBS stuff. Dylan Sink. Poor, I mean, poor sucker. <laughs> uh, you got Dylan Sink. You got Pablo. I mean, they're always coming out with us to events. And, I'm, you know, but most, of, most of these people, I mean, that, that you get to meet, you basically wind up trusting them with your life if, if, if you needed to. I mean, that, that's how far this... I mean, it's, or it's, how deep this goes, I guess I should say. So. It's a it's it's a lifestyle. It's yeah. You know, it's and it sounds crazy to talk about it, you know, out loud, but it really is. Anybody that's ever been in the in the automotive industry or or you know goes to car shows and stuff like that, it's it is. It's a lifestyle, and that's we want to try to add to that. Well, I mean, when it when it boils down to it, I mean, even our wives enjoy going to these events because. Everybody, that's spending too many years around us. Oh uh, well. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, for for a, a vehicle scene, I guess. It, that says a lot because a lot of a lot of wives and girlfriends and things like that don't like to come out to this kind of stuff because you know it, it's not their thing, I guess. But everybody, it's not a Hobby Lobby, yeah, oh. or Marshalls or mm. a Dillard's or yeah, Target. <laughs> we do not claim any of these copyrights. Yes, right. <laughs> As always, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow our page for new updates. Ta -ta -ta -ta.